Welcome back to the third video of reclaiming road crop ground. So what has happened is the contractors put in the crossings and got in all the waters put in. Today, we are going to be starting the seeding of the gamma grass and dad or me is going to be taking those big I don't know if you can see it, but they're going to be taking uh, those dirt piles where they made the crossings and we're going to be sprinkling it on top of the rock and compacting it into the rock. Right now, I am fueling the tractor and getting it ready to go. And Dad is unhooking the skid steer bucket so we can use the bucket. The bucket wasn't down here. Now it is. One thing that you might not know about Eastern Gramma grass seed is we soak it in a fungicide. And that means that we need to get it in, in the ground as soon as possible, or it'll start sprouting in the box. And we don't want that, or in the seed drill. So, uh, we're gonna, we ha we've had them stored in refrigerators for a couple of months, and now we're going to be taking them out. The, we're gonna be taking the bags out of the refrigerators a few at a time, putting it in the box, and go with it. But as you can see, the field's still a little brown. Yeah, there's one of the waters. Yeah, there's that big dirt pile over there. I'll try and zoom in, see it? That's where we're gonna be spreading at all the crossings. Look at all these crickets. There's some right there. Tractor's full. So we ran into a little bit of an issue. So the way this works is these little gear spin and that's what puts the seed down into these shafts, which then allows it to go into the ground. We're supposed to plant it at 30 inch rows. Well, it's not 30 inches from right here to right there. So what we're gonna try to do is take these cardboard things, cut them up and tape them over that. We'll see if that works. So we got them all now. Uh, got about 30 inch spacings. Yeah, we just covered three holes up. And let's see if this this should work, hopefully. He says it's about closer to 25 inch. So now we're gonna put the seed in here. Yeah, we're heading to the field right now. Well, it's actually just right over here. I'm just gonna walk to it. But uh, he's got the tractor back there and we're going to see if it is going in the ground. We're trying to put it about an inch in the ground. And then if it is going in the ground good and everything's running fi fine, the things are keeping the seed and spacing them out, then I think we're good to go. Bulldozer tracks. You can see the water line. It's gonna take a while for that to level out, but here he comes. All right, let's see if it goes in the ground. So after a lot of working with it, we got it adjusted. It's about, it's 119 now. It's a couple hours later, or more like maybe an hour and a half. But yeah, so he's going and seeding, and I'm gonna be taking those gravel piles, and uh, I'm not 
dirt piles and spreading it over the gravel crossing. So I got the skid steer here. Then you check the oil in it. So I'm in the skid steer right now, and um, that uh, this is the JCB Dallas skid. Anyway, I'm gonna be going. Uh, I gotta unhook this pallet fork that's on it, and then I gotta hook up the bucket. On my way to the rock pile, Dad needed help um, by filling it. So we filled it and it's good to go. There he goes. And here I go. So here's the crossing. I think I did really well. That's how it'll get trucks across the ditch. But we have this big dirt pile. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the skid steer and kind of shift it over and put compact this dirt in around this rock pile let's see how this goes So that took a while but i got the rock covered now i'm gonna go i got three other piles much fun but i'm gonna go do that and i'm not gonna time lapse that one because it's basically just gonna be the exact same thing so i'm gonna go do those real quick and i'll check in if anything happens that's important or i get it done but i think it, it's gonna definitely gonna be a lot smoother there is these stuff that isn't fully compacted but that'll compact over time yeah i dug into that pile quite a bit dad's made a couple of passes around the field um he, they did stop for like a quite a while over there i don't know what they were doing but mom came to refill his seed drill but i don't know why they were stopped so here's this gravel crossing. I thought I would show you before I get started. But the plan is, so you know how we're gonna use this as a lane, these ditches as a lane? The plan is to put two gates right here or a big long gate and they can come and use this water. The waters are all done and stuff. It's just concrete wet, no, it's it's good hasn't been turned on yet but yeah so i'm gonna fill this dirt on this crossing i hope it goes well i guess whenever you're driving across it you go uh. so hopefully this dirt is actually making a difference i asked dad to take some clips or some videos but i don't know if he has or not hope he has What are you doing? Putting down micro fungi. What's milk. it for? It's a, the fungi, I can't remember the name of it, has a symbiotic relationship with plant life. So it's going to help the seed grow? Yes. Sounds it good. helps move nutrients around in the soil. That's a big rock right there. Thought I'd show you how bumpy it can be. So I'm easing into it. Zoop. That 
wasn't as bad as that other one over there, but let's get the rock. Let's get it on, uh, get that dirt on there. I can now go around the whole pile because over there I was worried about getting into where he just seeded. Um, I'm going to get the non topsoil stuff first. So, just the dirt. So, it's been a little bit and I got this one done now so um that's what the pile looks like there's quite a bit of dirt i smoothed it down um yeah this one i think is better than the other one maybe it comes from experience probably does so now i'm gonna head over there and do the other one and then then there's another one i can do so i got two more probably not going to finish it today uh it is 502 so i'm gonna probably have to do it tomorrow i'll show you the progress after i get that done it's slightly sprinkling so um the dirt is kind of getting stuck to the bucket it's not that it hasn't like prevented me from picking up it's just kind of uh, shrunk how much i can pick up so here's this other gravel pile. Um, that ain't a gravel. So here's this other dirt pile. And um, it, it, it's pretty big, just like the other one. Yeah, there's the, uh, let me turn the camera around. So there's the, this little crossing. And it's, as you walk across it, it can be bumpy, but yeah. Uh, and then we're gonna, they're come out over here to this water. So we're and hoping that this could be potentially a water for out there, um, like with our rotational grazing. So we may or may not make like a little section starting from over there, going all the way down there and they come to here to this water and we like fence around the water that that's an option but more likely this water is just going to be used for this little field right here which we have a plan for the fencing down here but ultimately how we're going to use that is going to be when we start actually putting the fence in and seeing how it all works together we think we know how it works, but that doesn't always mean the way we think it's gonna work is how it works. So, anyway, I'm gonna get in this uh, skid steer and, or the teleskid, however you wanna call it, and I'm gonna do this one. And then I'm gonna go over to the other one. Good morning. It's the next day. And, well, we didn't get very many videos last night because the tractor, uh, well, more like the little seed drill we were using, didn't want to work the way we intended. So remember those little cardboard things we cut up? Well, needless to say, the moisture of the seed pretty well destroyed them. And then seed started not going and then we was like, and then it was, it was just a big, big, big problem. So, and we spent the next hour and a half trying to get a tiny little bit out of the seed box because the way that the seed goes in there is terrible. So most seed boxes, they go, they all come to like a funnel and then it falls down into it. Well, for some reason, this seed box had these gears that turn, but they're not slanted down. So seed would get right up next. So if the gear was right here, the seed would get right up here and it would not allow it to go in. Meaning someone had to ride back there and constantly push the seed into the thing. But there's this little spinny thing that constantly moves the seed back and forth in front of the box. So you move the seed where you want it to go, and then, there's a train background. Move the seed where you want it to go, 
let the tractor drive because and that thing moves so you can't stick your hand in there and then you have to move it back again because it moved it around the box yeah it took a while so we're gonna try something different this time we got these boxes and we're just gonna use the normal one not the one that we're technically supposed to use because the one that we're supposed to use does not work and we're going to cut the box these boxes up more and lay them over it this one should work a whole lot better and we're we're gonna use the shop vac to vacuum out the seed that we do not want to spend the next three hours getting out this is where the seed's been for the last couple of months and we're just gonna take it and few bags at a time to the seed drill so this is what i was talking about uh let me see if you i can find one all right so see that gear right there sits to the sides the seed doesn't fall into it so you have to constantly put it on top of it but then these you get some piled up and these stupid things as you drive move the seed back and forth so see how this one works it all falls to a funnel so we're going to lay the cardboard over it and use the seeds weight to hold the cardboard in place all right so um we got in each one of these we got these little cardboard squares that completely cover the hole and then we're covering it like that because it's going to take on a lot of moisture and we want it to not want to soak all the way through here's the other side so an issue we ran into is see this has a really big spout so it just drop you ha and you have your small little opening it's only like that big so as you as it opens it up well this because it's so big it's just throwing the seed in this general area instead of right there so we put a little a pot bottle and we cut it open we gave like a little hole but the problem with that is it gets stopped up this one isn't stopped up they get stopped up and even by like a little grass blade like this so i got the skip i got some seed in here just enough for them there's a frozen chunk right there that'll um freeze i have that at the top of the pile and i also got it inoculated inoculated is like a bacteria that lives in the soil a good bacteria this bacteria helps the grass perform like it should but a uh, funny story so um dad just had to leave and because he thought he had the tractor key in his pocket but he didn't and so he's got to go back to the house to get the tractor key and i need to uh grease the skid steer you're supposed to grease it every 10 hours or so I'm gonna grease it, and then I'm gonna get started on what I need to do today. I think I know where all the grease fittings are, but I was just trying to make sure and check any spot that there could be a grease fitting. I didn't find any new ones, but I always want to make sure. So that'd be pretty bad if you didn't find that new one and, you know. So here's what my agenda for today is. I need to finish up the crossing that I was working on before I went and helped dad clean out that seed drill. And then I need to work on the next one. And then after that, um, we have some on spots that dad has not drilled. We have some like uh, low spots that hold water. And I'm gonna take this leftover dirt. We didn't think it would be that much dirt, but it's a lot of leftover dirt. I'm gonna take that dirt and I'm gonna put it in those spots. Well, good morning, everybody. Dean's wanting me to help him with his videos. Well, we're seeding again. Yesterday was a bad experience. The uh, 
Gamma grass needs to be sold on 30 inch spacings and we're having to cover up drops and it just didn't work good. But we're going, so we just transitioned over to the uh, regular seed box and I think we're gonna have better luck. Uh, it's dropping out the seed slots better than we thought it would originally so hopefully we'll be able to make better time yesterday I was on and off the tractor so much that I was only able to get over nine acres and today I need to get over twice that much so as you can see we're turning around and at the end of the row and hopefully we'll have better luck today catch up with you later so i just finished up this crossing it was pretty bumpy uh beforehand it was like a lot whenever i was going over skid steer i was like i would go up and i go down and i go up and i would go down so i tried to level it out a little bit more while still allowing water to go across it uh that's what i did to the dirt pile so now I got this next one to do, and then we should be good to go. So uh, I'm going to work on that. And it's done. This one was a little bit more tricky. The last one, it had a lot of uneven. So it's like right over here is a lot lo lower than right here. So when you were driving across the skid steer, it would like, it would smack down whenever it would go across the hump. So I tried to do my best leveling and for the most part, it's pretty smooth. It's definitely gonna be smooth in a vehicle, but in the skid steer, it's it's a lot better than what it was. But it took me a while, it is now uh, almost three. So I'm gonna be clearing out this pile. Oh yeah, this is the dirt pile. Uh, we've definitely cleared out a lot of the dirt pile. I'm gonna be clearing that out and going and putting it in it in low spots. Extra food is being brought. So it's been a little bit. Um, it is now 841. And what I've been working on the last couple of hours is I have been taking the crossings. I finished them up. And I've been taking, I did level them out a little bit more and made them a little bit smoother. But more importantly, what I did was I took these the leftover dirt from the piles and I took and I put it um, in low spots around the field and also used it to level out. I'm going to show some uh, pictures of the low spots, like, uh, no, not of the low spots, of the dirt piles real quick. And um, while I'm doing that, I'm just going to describe how I went. Basically, I was just going back and forth around the field. I got a couple of them filled in. I'll show you that in just a minute as these pictures are going through. And then, uh, but everything should be good. I think that Dad has went and did his seeding, and I think it's went really well for him because he yeah, hasn't called and asked my help. So I think that's good. It is really windy, but um, here's some of the places he went over them where I leveled it out. Here's a place, and then we put some more over there, and then over there, and way over there, there was like almost like a pond for me. It was only, it's about this size, but it was always wet. All, all year round, it basically was wet. And fill that in, and then I filled one way of over there. I'll give an update after I talk to Dad. Yeah. Look at how windy it is out here. Hey Siri, how windy is it? Well, the Siri on my phone, but it said 13 miles an hour. So I was trying to get to go off my watch. Yeah. Yeah, Dad, Dad's finishing up over there. Look 
how dirty the skid steer got. All the wind and all that stuff blowing the dirt on it. So future videos will include is of us using these posts. These are the, um, I forget the name, but it's a uh, timeless fence post. That's what it is, timeless. It's a little T -po plastic T post. Um, and yeah, it's supposed to be a 20 year post or longer. And then we're gonna use this wire right here and we're gonna be putting up all the fencing around. Well, we're finished. Both vehicles are parked. Now let's head home. But if you enjoyed this video of us reclaiming road crop ground back in... But if you enjoyed this video of us reclaiming old road crop ground back into pasture, then please hit the like button. And then if you wanna see more videos upcoming, then be sure to hit the subscribe button to never miss an upload from Rocky Bluff Farms. Also, if you want to see other videos in this playlist um, or this series, I'll have the playlist linked up in that corner or that corner, not really sure. And also, I will have a link down in the description. So please go and check that out so you can see other videos in this series but i'm gonna leave it there and thank you for if you made it to the end of this video um let us know down in the comments and thanks for watching